It is such a pleasure, a blessing to have you here today. Uh, I just want to first just honor the space that we're in. Uh, this was the um, high school of Ewing Marion Kaufman. This was also, funny enough, uh, where my father taught when he used to live in Kansas City. Um, and now has been converted um, to an amazing new space, reimagined. And so we just welcome you here today in this old school building to rethink education. So before I get to all the introductions, I just want to start with um, something that our founder, um, Mr. K, we affectionately call, um, reminded people when he came across them. All the money in the world cannot solve problems unless we work together. And if we work together, there is no problem in the world that can stop us as we seek to develop people to their highest and best potential. The Ewing Marion Kaufman Foundation is set upon that mission. Through education and entrepreneurship, we seek to build people to their highest potential through uncommon solutions. And we believe that all of you in this room today are a part of that, a part of creating uncommon solutions within your communities, within your world, within this nation. Good morning again, and welcome to Kansas City. Those of you who are visiting us from afar, on behalf of our DeBruce board and our fabulous team at the foundation, I just want to say thank you to Kaufman for even inviting us to help host this. And as we get started today, I'm really going to hearken you back to probably what you saw happening across your neighborhoods, right? In the last few weeks, those school buses are out. Well, last Friday night as I was driving home from Columbia, I, it was about 7.05, and I saw a couple of school buses actually um, getting on an on-ramp. And I looked at my clock, and I thought, oh, ho, ho. I know what that is. That is a bundle of exuberant teenagers who are headed to Friday Night Lights, right? And some of you may have actually been at a high school football game on Friday night. We know what that sounds like. It's, and we hear the cheers for the first downs, and we hear the cheers for the touchdowns, and then folks break out into those alma maters and those fight songs. And last week, Eric, um, who is a principal here at Winnetonka High School in the North Kansas City School District, actually tweeted out a part of their fight song. And it made me think about today. Look at this last line. Our future bright in everything we do. And I thought that captures why all of us are here today, right? To work on creating that bright future, ensuring that that's what happens for those students. Because in a blink of an eye, we know that the students who are at that Friday Night Lights and who are in class this morning will actually be donning mortar boards and gowns and walking across a stage again one last time to sing that school fight song, one more time to sing that alma mater, and to bid farewell to this place where they have celebrated um, and hopefully had these amazing experiences and exposure to what the world will be for them. And all of you are committed to making a difference in that space. Those days, May, June, as those happens, we, we know what that feels like, right, in our schools. But we also know that the day after comes. And there's a kid who says, I don't really know what my plan is. And there's another kid who says, I don't feel prepared at all for what's in front of me. And there's another kid who is just looking at the challenges and the barriers that stand between where they are and where they want to be in that future of work. And there's another one who is questioning, what value am I now? I knew who I was when I was a senior in a high school. I knew who I was when I was identified with the, in that particular place. But what value do I bring now? I mean, I think I can learn, but how well can I learn? What choices do I really have? And it is that that is driving the work 
that we care about. As Miles said, we care about expanding pathways to economic growth and opportunity. And that doesn't happen without us reimagining education and thinking about what that looks like and sounds like. Some of you have been wonderful partners with us as over the last 18 months we have rolled out the Agile Work Profiler. And if you haven't had a chance to do it yet, go to debruce.org and engage with us. It'll only take you 10 minutes. And um, after that time, you'll have a connection to how we're framing and thinking about the future of work and the work activities that everybody in this room does every day. And all of those students across the stage will have to do as they go forward in that future of work when we don't even know what those jobs will be. Some recent research that we've done indicated that 95% of our high school students consider five or fewer careers, yet, they will hold probably between 11 and 12 careers in their lifetime. So we've got to get them up and going and thinking about how they bring value in the choices that they have. As the first weeks of school started, we heard from an independence math teacher who sent to us this little note by way of our Connect card talking about using some of the resources. All of these are absolutely at no cost to you. Um, and she had, you know, taking our kids into the agility decoder. They were using it to think about what does it mean for their math schools and their preparation. And she writes back that she feels like they've really bought into it. And so we're excited about that. And we know that you're excited about those kinds of things too. Um, very similar to what has already been shared, we know that that is going to take some rethinking of education. So what we'd like you to leave with today is that when students unlock their potential, they unlock their future. Let's reimagine education and give them the keys. And I'm not getting off this stage without giving you a homework assignment. And that would be, all of us are probably gonna get back into our cars today or tomorrow or at some point in time when we get home. We're gonna have a set of keys that either get us back into the space where we live or get us back um, home by way of driving. Whenever you pick up those keys, I want you to think about unlocking the potential of those students. And everything that we do in the next few um, moments, hours, and days here, let's not let this die. Let's make a difference as we go back out into the world. Thanks for being with us today, and don't forget your keys.